we are at Richmond's South Arm Outdoor Pool. This is a flat roof solar heating system, and we have to get the water out of it for winter. Flexible fin tubing can freeze solid with water in it, but there's a lot of water in a lot of fin tubing, and it all slopes like this on this job. So that water freezes, it'll expand into the headers, thaw out, potential for nipples to fracture when the water freezes again. So what we're going to do here is blow air through the system using a shop vac. So here's a standard shop vac. I just put a, uh, an inch and a half fitting in there so we can push that onto an inch and a half fitting or a header pipe. So stick that onto our header pipe where the water would normally go into this bank and we'll turn it on. Water is going to come out right here. pressure drop through the system, maybe a PSI, which means it'll actually raise water as much as a foot or two to account for the elevation difference. So it'll force water out of uh, tubes that are sitting in uh, the middle of this bank. And if there's one spot where it's empty and one spot where it's full, there won't be any pressure drop where there's no flow. There will be where there's no flow, which is the automatic feedback mechanism that forces the water to flow out everywhere. It's the same principle we use in establishing even flow with water. That same principle means that the air will flush all the water out. So we've opened this up in several spots and the water is just about done on this bank now. You'll have to follow all your normal winterizing procedures, of course, including switching the auto controller to the off position, closing isolation valves. In this case, the pump runs year round, so we have to isolate solar with isolation valves, open drains that are indoors. Any drains or open points outdoors need to be closed because ice and snow can melt and get back in there and freeze and burst things. Now I can't resist mentioning one more time that power strips are flexible. The fin tubing, the main component, can freeze solid at minus 40 degrees all winter long. You can walk on it. You will never damage the main collector component. Uh, it's the header pipes and the plumbing <coughs> that we're worried about. Now you'd never do a flat roof system like this with a regular rigid polypropylene collector. They have to be on a slope. You have to get all of the water out, the slightest freeze, not even a freeze. It only takes six degrees C or 37, 38 degrees Fahrenheit uh, air temperature for water to freeze in a black surface radiating heat out to the night sky. So the rigid collector types are very vulnerable to freeze damage and it freezes everywhere. It froze in Miami recently. <laughs>